Hey everybody, uh, in this video I'm going to go over the vest that I use for fishing kayaks. I, a lot of my subscribers might not you know, watch a lot of my fishing crap. I'm going to go over with you, this is a vest from Astral and I'm a huge Astral fan. You know, they're locally here in the southeast, they're located right outside Asheville, North Carolina. For the, for the people that don't know, for the fishing guys out there that don't know, but this vest is what they came out with last year. This one's called the Astral Sturgeon. I think it's the, the sturgeon, yeah. It comes with uh, 16 pounds of flotation. It's a really good life vest. I really like this. I like the thin back on it. I, there's several fishing vests out there, but I've been tried and true with Astral for a while. And, you know, they're not known for their fishing vests. I know there's, ever other, there's other brands that kind of specialize in fishing, and they, they seem to do really well with it. But I... I I challenge you guys to try this vest out. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. This is a really good life vest. It's got a lot of cool features. Their other vest was the Ronnie Fisher, and I was not a fan of that. I didn't like the way it zipped in the middle. I didn't like the, lo the, the location of the pockets. I just thought it was just too much going on. This seems, this vest is one of the best thought out vests I have seen. Like, it's very, it's very like loose. It fits on me loosely. It's got the normal adjustments here on the side so you'll adjust those I don't run my fishing kayaks very tight it's got these up here I'm not a fan of these I've went on about that in my other video on I'm not a fan of these flopping around up here um, I do like the location they put the knife they put a a knife right there where it's easily accessible I, I'm not a fan of these little knife where you run the knives on the outside of the vest. I'm not a fan of that. I do just like a, a nice folding knife that I can access pretty quickly. And this uh, has a really cool spot for locating it. And you can put it on a tether right there. There's a little locking tether right there. And um, check this out. So they actually integrated what I use a lot, which is the pliers. I use these a lot. This is one of my number one tools when I'm fishing. What I like about these pliers, which I think they're, they're Cuda, I think that's the name of this brand, but it is a really good brand. That is for cutting braid, cutting fishing lines. That's made for obviously pulling out hooks and anything I need. But I, that, this right here, and it's really cool because it, it locks in right here, and it's on this little toe tether down like that, and they slide right down in there. One thing I didn't like, they don't hold that well, but when I'm fishing, I'm not jumping around and hooting and hollering as much as I am when I'm whitewater paddling. So it's not a bad spot for them. It's not a bad spot. And when I do tour day touring kayaks, I'm mostly using my Astro YTV vest, which I'll leave a link in the description on the YTV vest. That's the one I use mostly. But I'll use this uh, exclusively when I'm kayak fishing. So when I'm, I, I'm going to go over this in... So yeah, there's that little feature there. That is a really cool feature. I like that. I like that feature there. Um, we'll see what else. They have the style of pocket that I, it's this clamshell type design right here. This is on, this has been on their green jacket and their, I don't know what the other one's called. It's called like the blue vest or whatever. I don't know. It's something stupid like that. But it's like, they, I, I love this clamshell design. So, and it's once again, it can be accessed either hand. I keep the zippers in the top so I can go either hand and get the zippers down. Inside of here, I keep, you know, a whistle. Did I just put some shit on my lens? Never mind. Okay. But it, it's a, so I have a whistle handy right there. Um, I keep an extra carabiner in there. I keep, and check this out. So inside of here is where I like this pocket. I keep all of my fishing license. I have fishing license in five of the southeast states. So I buy a yearly fishing license. I keep all of my fishing license inside of here. It's got a, a hook for your keys, a spare key or whatever right in there. So all my fishing license are in little waterproof bags inside of there. That's a real cool. You've got extra pockets here and here. I keep this little thing. This is another really handy tool. That right there, I know, you, I know what you're thinking. That's just a set of nail clippers. Well, it's not. Actually, what it is, it's, it's made for cutting, for cutting fishing line. For cutting braid and cutting fishing line. I love this little tool. Check this little tool out. And another feature that this tool has, this, that little piece right there, sit in focus, 
that's for poking holes in your jigs. So anyone that fishes will know what I'm talking about. You'll get a you'll get a jig and it'll have that little paint stuck down in it. And then you're like looking around, you're trying to get a knife. This thing is one of the most handiest things I've had in a long time. That gives me the ability to poke a hole in my damn flip jigs. I'll I'll get them and I'll just dig out that little paint and that way I'm good to go. Um, it's got this little thing on it too. That's for Anyone that's backlashed will know what the hell that's for. That's to help get backlash out. That will help get a backlash out. That helps get backlashes out. So it's just one of these little picks to help if you backlash your reel. You know, anyone that uses bait casters will know what I mean, but when I say backlash, you'll know, you'll be like, oh, that totally makes sense. Man, I highly, and this all came as a kit. Like, I was, I was, talked to the guys at CUDA, and this was a kit, and this has been the handiest purchases I have, I've made in, in kayak fishing. And it all fits right here in my vest. I really like that a lot. But anyway, enough about, you know, about that crap. Let's go back to the vest. I bait, and also, I carry some minimal, I, I'll carry like some bait, it's got a snapping pocket. It's got me a little pocket right here that snaps. I keep... You know, I keep some lead weights, I keep, well, tungsten, whatever the hell they are, you know, I always, you know, I want to be cool, I don't want to use the, um, the lead, so I use, so I've got, I've got, I've got my, my, um, my weights, so any type of weights that I need, I'll have my weights there for, and that's mostly for fishing plastics, if I use any type of worm, plastic worm fishing, I'll do that. And I keep some spare hooks on this side. And the reason is, you know, I'll have like, you know, some weighted wacky and some basic, you know, offset hooks. And I'll keep that here. And I, it's a very, it, what I like about having that here, if it's something quick that I need, it's right here. I don't have to dig around under the seat or around finding plain old boxes going through hooks. I'll just do a quick one and I keep like quick right there. And I'll also carry like some, uh, I, I can put a whole pack of like, um, of worms in here, so I'll put a, a I'll put a pack of soft plastics in here, and I'll have a, a pack of soft plastics that are nice and handy here too. But yeah, let me get that back in there. So I let that just sit there like that, and all of this stuff is inside this pocket. I am such a fan of this vest. I I highly recommend you guys. I know you guys there there's other vests, and also like you've got this pocket here. This pocket gives me a place to to like lay things and thread hooks on. So if I'm threading the hook. If I'm tying on, if I'm tying on a jig or tying on something, while I'm sitting in the kayak, I'll sit here and I'll be able to do all of it right here. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the um, the Astral Sturgeon. I don't know what else I can say on it. It's got reflective back here. It's got reflection. It's got a place to tie a beacon on somewhere back here. I don't know. On one of these, I think you could tie like a like a beacon back there. Whatever. I don't I don't use that feature, so I don't know much about it. You guys can check out Astro and see what the hell they have to say about that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And it's super easy to get in and out of this vest. You can just this vest comes off and on so easy. That's what I that's what I it's not a pullover design, it is a side entry design. So you can open that up and just get in and out of this vest. It's got the, the mesh here for for like hot days. It's nice and breathable and it's got a lot of foam in the front to float you you know frontwards so you know I've tested these vests out too so I have tested these boats these vests on the water so I know they all work really well but yeah um, that's it for the sturgeon you guys can check that out on Astral's website I'll leave the link in the description on where you can pick up a sturgeon vest I love this vest I'm I am such a huge fan of Astral they did such a good job on this vest I can't imagine going any getting another vest this might be my last vest I ever buy for fishing I'd almost like to pick up two or three more the only thing the only drawback also that I don't like one of the things I don't like about it is the color I like bright colored vests I want something that people can see I'm not a fan of camouflage black dark gray I'd, I'd have green neon pink I don't care I want something bright that a boat that a, that a jet ski or a boat can pick up any type of visual visibility that I can add to myself I'm a big fan of so yeah thanks a lot guys thanks for watching and um, see you next time